Hello guys, so today we are trying to fix these GBL headphones. The main issue is that they don't like to power on. They were charging until now, so we need to check what's wrong. I built this screwdriver, I don't know how it's called. I use the Dremel tool and try to make it to work on these screws from JBL. These are the only two screws that I can see, so we'll try to um, loosen them and see what's, what's next. As I know, there are some screws under this foam, but I would like to try to open without the foam. Okay. So nothing yet. I'll try to find the prying tool. So I found this. I hope it will work. I've never opened these kind of headphones before, so I don't know. I actually don't know what I'm doing. But we'll see. Feels like there's another screw somewhere. But where? I'll just pause the video and come back when I find the other screws. I don't wanna destroy these. So it looks like there are some clips behind here, so what you have to do is you need to break some of your tools, but if you go like this, they should pop up. Okay, good to know. Okay, perfect. And there you go. After breaking all of my tools, now I can finally see the other screws. These are Philips head screwdriver screws, so you should be able to open them easily. My main concern is the connection between the two headphones. Uh, because the power is here on this side, this is the left side, and then the cables go to the main board, and the main board doesn't have any power. So I'm thinking there's a the cable is it's broken or something. Let's see. Okay, now it's loosened. Ah, oh, come on, not again. Hmm, okay, not like that. Apparently there's something more. This. Ok, 
Okay. But what? So apparently around here there's a really strong glue and what I ended up doing is taking this blade and loosen it a little bit. Be really really careful if you use this kind of blades. This won't be my first time if I get cut. cut. Okay, so you can see. I already destroyed a few cables, not a big problem, I can always put them back. And this is the microphone for noise cancelling, it's right here, these are the cables that I destroyed. Oh, oh well, they were broken anyway, this is another microphone over here, also for noise cancelling, from noise coming outside, and this is for the noise from inside. I have to see what they do with these two wires. Maybe I'll make them a little bit longer. But now you know, so don't open this part if you don't have issues with your speaker. Now on the other side, I was hoping to see something here, but apparently there is, isn't anything. So, Let's check the other side. To open the other side, you have to pry something under this ring and go around. These are really not serviceable. I mean, if this goes bad, you should take them back to JBL or just replace them with a newer model. But I really like these the sound is really really good see you have these four tabs and actually these are my wife's so yeah I have to fix it I don't see a way to open these without scratching them but if probably if you're careful not like me then you should be you should be okay Okay, so there is a board, yeah, this here, this should be the Bluetooth module and this is the board for the speakers which handles the noise cancelling and everything else and the amplifying. So this here, over here, this should be one of the microphones. For me now I have to find the power cable, so this is the main cable that comes from the other side. There are many, many, many cables, but if you look closely they have writing on them so you should see where is plus and minus for your battery i have to check closely with the magnifying glass but it's it's there somewhere and buttons buttons and this is the power on button which doesn't work okay let's see if we have power here This should be ground. This should be plus. Basically, you can also measure from here. These are the measuring points.
if I'm not mistaken, this one it's minus. Okay, so it's not this one. I thinking I'm thinking I should take this board out and look behind it. So you have here a speaker plus, speaker minus, function, some microphones. This is our power on button. I need to see yeah, if there are any power cables glued on this side how did they put so many cables in one strain I don't know I'll put this under a microscope and come back to you. So I found the measuring point right here. This is battery plus and battery minus. And there is no power coming to them. So battery plus and battery minus. And they're actually marked, so they have little writings here and you know what they do. So I decided to try to measure the battery directly. So as you can see, the battery is dead. I was not, wasn't expecting this. These are quite resilient little batteries. But... Um, yeah, let's see again. If you don't get the points right, you will get a reading with minus. So no, the battery is zero. This is a lithium ion battery, so if, it's, if it reaches zero, uh, it's pretty much dead. There's nothing you can do to it. It's a 3.7 volt um, cell, 610 milliamps. Um, I have an idea to test this. I will try to power it on with a different battery and hopefully we'll see something. Uh, let me go find the battery. So what I did was to take the tape, the yellow tape, off of the board from this uh, battery and I will test the cell directly so this is ground and it's 3 volts and if you go here it's nothing so the cell itself it's good but the BMS has died. I'm not sure if I can rebuild this. Actually this little part like here, this is the battery protection chip and I don't know if you can see it but it's it looks burned. I think I have these. I can try to replace this and then reuse this battery but these already are quite cheap so I'm thinking I'll just uh, replace the whole battery. It's a few years old also, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but it might be interesting to try to, to replace this. I don't really don't like to, to replace these small chips. My hands are really shaky. But um, yeah, I can give it a try. 
and see. Either way, I, I, I did this thing and I'll try to put these leads on it and to see if the board uh, has power. So that should be quite easy. I have my trusty Vedder soldering station. So this is it. This cell came out of a dead laptop battery, but it's 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 good. It still has power. I can charge them with my charger. It has four volts. When they're fully charged, it has 4.2, and they, when they're discharged, they are 3.7. But they are rated for 3.7 volts. So if I connect this here, we should be able to power the the headphones on. I get the plug correctly okay so it's this way okay and let's see and they're live so this whole time was the BMS I'm thinking that they uh, were left on charging overnight and something happened with the with the wall adapter and yeah, this happened, but they're still working. I'll have to fix this thing that I broke, but that should be easy. Uh, and yeah, that's it. I think I'll make a video also when I will replace this uh, battery protection circuit. Uh, if I am able to do it successfully. If not, there's no point in showing a failed video. But that's it. Thank you guys. And don't forget to subscribe if you like to see me break things. And... Yeah, see you next time.